What's going on? I hope you're having a great day. Today's video, we're gonna go over how I went from this to this. Now, it is not the perfect fix, but it is a lot more acceptable for me to want to publish. It was basically my only option as it was a time crunch video. We didn't have time for reshoots. I didn't have any extra footage or B-roll to cover it up. And uh, I had a quote, fix it in post, which I know we all hate to say and we hate to hear it, but this is what I could do. So what I did was I took a screenshot of the video right in here when he was sitting still. Took a screenshot of the video, which is this frame here. Took a screenshot of that. I brought that into Photoshop. And then I used the clone stamp tool. I grabbed a piece of the window. I think I kind of grabbed a piece that was near the light so it blend a little better, more naturally. I just clone stamped my way around the lights, smeared it, smudged it around both lights and made it like this. And so it's not perfect, but it's a lot more acceptable for final production. And then when I was done kind of smearing that, blending that in on both of those sides, I cut out around the windowsill and made it like this. So I cut out around his hand, his head, and just around the window itself. And then I exported this right here, exported this, brought that into Premiere. That is this pink layer on top of the video. Made it like so. And then I had to keyframe and mask around Jordan coming into frame here with the cooler. What I did was go over to mask, hit the stopwatch button and go frame by frame. So you can see my shape here. All you do is click, make whatever shape you need to and go frame by frame. Just keyframing, moving that shape around Jordan and your, your object, whatever your object is. Just frame by frame, moving around him. click and drag all those, you have all these little tiny things around the cooler handle, all that jazz. And what I do is I actually zoom in here like this so I can get really particular around his head, around his hand, even around the little duct tape there, all that. So it is not perfect, but it's a lot more acceptable. As you can see, I, I don't know what this is here, but I messed that up there. And then you can also see the light just for a couple frames right there in between his hand and his body. But in full motion, you know, not very many people are going to notice that. So then the next one, that was a really hard one. That was a difficult one. The next one was a simple shot right here with Amy. It's kind of the same idea, but I didn't have to mask or uh, keyframe anything. I just took a screenshot from this spot right here, took that into Photoshop and did the same thing, clone stamp, blend, smear, smudge. And then I brought this back into Premiere, put that over the video and just put it right there. And it's not perfect either, as you can see, these two don't blend, but nobody's looking at that. Everybody's looking at the person or the product. So I hope I helped. If you have any questions, feel free to let me know. I'll gladly help. Thanks for watching. Hope you have a great rest of your day.